This is Liam Weagle on your Overwatch bag with a new video today. I want to go through some ranking system issues in Overwatch. I do believe that the game is in a very good place right now. There are a few hero tweaks that need to come. I think Anna's going to get a slight nerf and Widow may come back a little bit. But I think there's always going to be these little issues everywhere. Um, but I think that the ranking system is a bigger one. I think that there's some problems that could be addressed and hopefully fixed. And just to make it a little bit fairer and just an all-round better experience of the game. So let me know what you think in the comments, and I'm going to start with placement matches. So I think everyone knows that these are a little bit strange, and they're based on your individual performance as with the rest of the game, and it's a bit of a weird ELO system to use, but it's based on your individual performance. So this is why some people win maybe eight games of their placements and only get placed in low plat, and some people lose most of their games and actually get placed higher than that. It depends on the heroes you play, they're all balanced differently. Now there's a well-known thing that some support heroes always run ranked up slower but it wasn't actually just support heroes and a lot of people seem to have missed this Jeff Kaplan did either either tweeted about it or put it on a forum that it's not just them heroes and that some DPS heroes were also performing incorrectly when trying to rank up so how they've tried to balance it is if you're getting enough value out of your hero to how much rank you gain which is definitely a strange way to do it and is why everyone seems to get placed within mid gold to mid plat and everyone then is in the same place and it explains kind of the ELO hell that some people experience because how many times have you played at your rank against someone that is so much better than this rank and how many times have you played at your rank with someone that's so much worse I'm now up to diamond again and I can tell you that some people should be higher that I play with and some people should be in gold or something and it's nothing to do with boosting some people say it's your friend boosted you it isn't it's simply the system and how it works is where it places people and it's not a very good way to do things at the minute what they're trying to do is base you on the value you're getting out of your character but if that system isn't flawless then it's never going to be fair I'd like to use Counter-Strike as an example of how a good system works. What you do is you join a game, whether you're in a team or you're solo queue, and it's your ELO as a team against the enemy's ELO as a team. So it depends. If you win against a team that's got a much lower ELO, you won't gain much. But if you lose against them, you'll lose a lot. And that's how the system works. If you play them that are kind of like an equal skill level, you'll gain some and you gain it as a team unit. Now, the issue with this, of course, is if you're solo queuing, yeah, individual performance will work better for the simple fact that you still may be able to carry a little bit and the people that are playing bad won't gain as much ELO. But overall, this system just doesn't work as well as a team ELO. Now, Blizzard obviously know there's an issue because they don't rank six stackers versus solo queues. And the reason that they don't do this is because the meta is completely different. If you play a six stack at low platinum or you play a six stack in masters, I've played both. It's the same. It's difficult. Everyone's going for it. People wait for their teammates. People all together. People communicate at masters in a six stack. But when you're not in a six stack, it's rough. Through all the ranks, you never really know what you're going to get and you take your luck where you can. Now, yes, there's some heroes you can carry out with, such as Genji, which people have done since the start. They say, well, if you just play Genji, you can carry out. And this is true. This is possible. You can do it with multiple different heroes. You can just kind of carry out and, and grind up the ranks if you get a little bit lucky and you get very good with a particular hero. However, if you was then to join against a six stack when you're trying to carry with solo queue, as a Genji, it wouldn't work because the six stack will communicate. They'd put on Winston, he'd dive you, and your Genji experience wouldn't be as good. And there's no way you'd be able to carry solo cures against six stackers. So that's why Blizzard try not to match the two up. But the problem is they still are based on the same ranking system, which means that two completely different things. So what I would propose is that they have a completely separate ranking system for six stackers. Or I think the better way is to judge your team's ELO rather than your individual performance because individual performance leads to people being all ranked in the wrong places. It would also then force people, I guess, to play in more of a six stack environment and I can, I can promise you the game is much, much better in that. 
it is obviously harder to get six people on all the time. It makes the game harder, and you may not be that into competitive. And I see both sides of each story. It's just that for the Overwatch experience, at the minute, the ranking system is just not in the right place. And I think the main thing I do want to stress about that last point is that, yes, you can carry in solo queue, but you're doing it in solo queue, which is a different meta, and you wouldn't be able to do that against six stack. And not only that, right? You can grind out the ELO, sure, but you're not really improving at the game baiting as a Genji, playing as a traitor, hitting six shots as a McCree from behind, because if you are then going into a six stack environment as that McCree, but you don't have a Reinhardt up or they're diving you, you just die. It doesn't matter how good your shots are if your game knowledge isn't there. And solo queue teaches a lot of bad habits. I mean, I think the last thing I would say is that if people think that solo queuing is the same as six stack and don't understand that six stack platinums are gonna be just as good as solo queue diamonds easily, ask Blizzard why they're not matching up six stacks versus one stacks. We just need this system to be reworked. It just needs to be that little bit better, just so that we can be in the right ranks with the right people. There's too much of a mishmash. Everyone gets placed in the same same place between kind of as I say mid gold to mid platinum and then they just kind of some people manage to yeah grind out of it yeah I envy you but not everyone has been able to do that or can do that or maybe you want to play in a tour of a three stack which sometimes is even worse than solo queuing so guys let me know what you think in the comment section down below and be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed we do now stream daily we tweet out so follow both of them and we have a discord where you can find people play with people and enjoy the game in a six second environment because that is just better hope you all have a great day as always take care and peace people.